everybody knows at this point, Ninja is coming back to Raid. Now, I saw this post here, had some pretty cool art to it, thought I'd use it. Uh, I don't know who the originator of this is, but it's pretty cool. Here it is, the link's right there, or this is the post, Ninja vs. Hydra. I wanted to read this, and then I wanted to talk about delaying Ninja for Champ Chase, as well as some of the other things that I've been seeing in-game, some of the conversations that I've been seeing in-game. By the way, if you don't know, my new spot to hang out is in... Oh, you can't see that here. Uh, is, oops, is, is English 2. And in English 2, there was a conversation going on about how a lot of the CCs are talking about how OP Ninja is, and there were some people disagreeing with that. Now, we're going to talk about that soon, but first... I wanted to go ahead and talk about today's sponsor. I'm just kidding, but imagine though. Watch some of the videos of the Mikage Hydra Comp. For anybody who is not familiar, it's Mikage, Krisk, Ugo, Shamael, Yostrid, and Ninja from Nub Raids. I did see the thumbnail for Nub's video. It looked pretty cool. Of course, Ninja working in conjunction with uh, Mikage. The synergy comes from Makage bringing in an ally Shadowkin for an ally attack. The question is, is Ninja a better option than Orobo, who is the original ally in this comp? By the way, this comp that they're talking about, I think came from Big T from Tairaku Raids. He was the one who uh, put the sauce on Orobo and let everybody know what was up. So... Now, this is not an issue. This is just a conversation I wanted to have. So if you have any any weight to throw in into this particular conversation, please let me know. What's your opinion on Ninja versus Hydra? Of course, he's got the triple HP burns, and he's always been a, a decent damage dealer in terms of using him in Hydra. He was somebody that I did use years ago when I was trying to put my teams together. Since then, I haven't really used him in Hydra anymore, but I'm not saying that he's not useful there. He, if you don't have anybody else or if you're new, he's going to be awesome. And I won't go into too much depth as to all the other places that he has uh, utilization in. Obviously, um, clan boss, but there's like unkillable. Like there's just so much in the game that he has brought to the community and the things that he can do, still still nice. Like, you could still use him in Iron Twins. I don't know if I would use him over somebody like Geomancer, but that is an option. Obviously, in a lot of the other boss, uh, a lot of the other dungeons, uh, Spider's a little iffy because, you know, the HP activation um, is random, so it's not like you can just target the Spider and everything's going to do well. Uh, Dragon, HP burns are going to do well. Ice Golem, I think, might trigger... Uh, the reaction from the Ice Golem, so that might be iffy. But yeah, uh, Hydra is probably going to be one of the best places to use him. Uh, aside from Hydra, like you, I don't really see him being used in Fire Knight. But I do use him in... Oh, actually, no. I do use him in my uh, Phantom Shogun 25 team. And on my other account, I used to use him... Actually, no, it was this account. I did use him in the Aniri, um, what do you call it, the Aniri Ninja team, the combo, this duo right here. I was using Ninja, and then I switched Ninja out so I could use him specifically in Phantom Shogun, and then I just put Farragut the Fat in instead of uh, Ninja. But Ninja had place there, obviously. Faction Wars, he does have the AoE freeze, but I, oh my god, what am I doing? I just said I wasn't going to go into depth, but here I am going in depth, but... Let's see what people say. Probably, yes, he hits much harder, brings a burn. Uh, this is in regards to the question, is he a better option than Orobo? Probably, yes, he hits much harder, brings a burn. While he hits much harder, Orobo, Oboro's A1 in and of itself is a lot stronger. Obviously, the rest of his kit is really strong. Ninja fairly easily gets over 2 million with his A1. Is Oboro doing more than that? 2 million with his A1? Per target, no, but it's an AoE, so the total is decent. Void Affinity never weak... Uh, yeah, it's true. Void Affinity won't weak hit. Good for War Master, which doesn't scale, so it's hard to compare versus... Uh, hard to compare as gear variates, and it has a very good chance to apply defense down on everyone. I've seen Ninja do a billion on his own with Nightmare, or on Nightmare Hydra with Mikage. Wasn't even a six-star soul ninja. How in the hell are numbers that high uh, achievable? They just are. Live arena bonuses help a ton. 20% ignore defense makes up a 
uh, makes ninja hit true damage. That's true. The answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, so I can see a lot of people building Hydra teams using ninja. And so that discussion um, is, you know, if you're wondering where you're going to where you're going to end up using him, if you're early game, maybe into the mid game, probably going to use him everywhere because he does provide that much value. But as you progress into the late, maybe even end game, you probably won't see yourself using too much of him as you're going to eventually have a lot of other champions that will uh, enable you to do a lot of these other things. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Is he worth booking? Yeah, I think he's worth booking. Is he worth putting some really good gear on? Yeah, I don't know if it's worth putting the best gear, but that kind of depends on an account per account basis. Nevertheless, I'm excited for everybody, for the community to get Ninja. Now, talking about delaying Ninja for Champion Chase, I wanted to ask if it was possible to wait while collecting the last part of Ninja of the offer to use it for a Champ Chase event, or is it necessary to collect him at day five and not lose him? There is a video on how to um, collect Ninja. Let me go right here. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see how to collect. Oh, no. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Wait. I think the word is wait. Oh, and I, I got it. Uh, it's actually one of my only videos that reached over 5,000. So let me go over here. Here to. Bu -bu -bu -bu. Right here. How to save your champions for free points. Um, this video right here will help you. Uh, understand how to do it but basically if you if you don't want to watch it i'll just tell you right here all you have to do if you're on pc is press uh you can press f you can press l and it'll take you to you know it's it's basically a hot key within raid and it will take you to a different area so like if you open up the game pop-ups you open up the game i'm gonna press l l will take you to your quests and all you have to do is just do something real quick and then you can go back to the home screen and you won't actually have to collect the ninja because what's going to happen is if you try to if the the pop-up for ninja um, shows up on your screen and you like click off for an example like on the side you're going to automatically collect ninja but if you want to save him for a certain event maybe there is a champion chase or a um, yeah champion chase event or something like a, a fusion that you might want to save him for you might want to go ahead and you know take if you're min maxing take those points you're going to want to take those points those 500, I think it's like 500 points. You can save him. We have till August to claim him. Wasn't sure it was possible. Points are always great. Do you know how many points? Ninja could help a lot. I'm debating whether I should take him right away or waiting for the points. It's 500 points. It really depends on how much you need him now and what very new means. If you don't need him immediately, I would wait. Yes, because 500 points is nothing to scoff at, especially if you're trying to do a fusion. But if it's going to push your progress, a lot in a few days it could be worth taking him right now but i can't answer that question without knowing your situation yeah this is pretty much the cut dry period answer here 500 points usually in traditional champion chase tournaments it's often a big chunk uh, chunk but not enough to finish an event but it's still nothing to scoff at it's something that i would take like if there was a fusion coming up and i had the opportunity to pull like a seven day login champion i would wait you have to log in for five days after you click the claim in the store. You'll be waiting for at least that long. By the way, this also works on mobile. If you're on mobile, you can, be, but you have to be very quick about it, right? And I've done this. I've done I've done a video where where I've shown proof of, of it working, where I just like I'm on the camera showing on my phone. Like I just keep as as I click raid to open it up, I'm constantly typing or not typing. I'm tapping on the battle. So like if you know if you're on mobile on the bottom right, actually it, it shows up here anyway. On the bottom right, this battle thing shows up. All you have to do is just put your thumb right there, keep tapping battle. As soon as you tap battle, you get taken to this screen and you can do something here. Just go ahead and just do like a quick arena battle and then you can go back to the home page. And that's how you do it on mobile to avoid collecting Ninja right away. Now, um, somebody in English 2 was talking about how all the CCs are talking about how Ninja is OP, okay? And they were saying like, oh, uh, you know, these these uh, these content creators just want 
views. They just want their views. And, you know, Ninja is actually not that OP. And, you know, I have a few things to say about that. One, like, let's go to, let's go right here. Let me X out of this first and let's X out of here. Yeah, so if you type in Raid Shadow Legends Ninja, obviously the first people you're going to see are like the big ones. Nub Raids, Ash. And of course, they're going to talk about Ninja. Showcasing Ninja and Hydra. By the way, big shout out to Nub. Love the guy. Great vibes. Same thing for Ash. Sending positive vibes your way. There's nothing wrong with this, is my point. There's a lot of new people coming to Raid, especially with the reintroduction and offers for uh, Ninja, all right? Th there's nothing wrong with talking about Ninja being OP and showing what is capable, what is possible with certain champions. Yeah, you know, sometimes the comps might not be uh, available to a lot of people because, you know, how many people are going to have a, a Krisk or Makage straight out the bat? But that doesn't diminish the value of making content to show, you know, Ninja and his capabilities. A lot of people come to YouTube. It, YouTube is the second world, like the world's second largest engine, search engine, for when it comes to trying to find out information. The first being Google, the second one being YouTube. People are going to come to YouTube saying how to build Ninja. There's nothing wrong with being a content creator for Raiders, the content creator in general, wanting to, you know, share that. All right. So yeah, when, when someone says like, oh, they just want the views. Duh. <laughs> Fucking duh, Sherlock. Of course they want the views. Of course we want the views. Now, the, uh, for me, you know, I have two other channels that I work on. Raid is sort of like a passion project for me. Because I, I, I literally, I just enjoy the game. I'm passionate about the game. It's nice when I get views. But if you look at my content, I'm not too worried about getting too many views. I pretty much just put out videos and talk about whatever the fuck I want. So, but like in regards to the bigger CCs who do make a lot of money off of this, yeah, of course they want views. Of course they want to make money off of it. Of course somebody is going to want to, you know, do something that they're passionate about, something that they love, which is video games. And why not make money at the same time? Because we're taught from the moment that we're kids that if you love something and you're doing something every single day, and you, you happen to be making money from it, you're not going to work a day in your life, which is, you know, it's true. So why are you going to bag on somebody who's doing something that they love and making money off of it, living the dream, basically? Part of me thinks it's some sort of projection. I think people who say this kind of thing, you're probably just mad because you're stuck at, you know, and I'm, I'm not talking shit to anybody who, you know, works a, a full-time job and, you know, you know that that's a separate situation. But it's like, if, if you're one of those people who are just mad at yourselves for the, the situation you ended up with and you want to find a way to talk shit about other people, you know, I, I'd say, like, kick rocks or something. Get the fuck out of here. That's what I'm, that's all I have to say about that.